about to match part a set of in castings, or not in castings, gosh, are you screwing up? A set of polenums. Um, this is the newer style of polenums, and you can tell because it's got the the angles on it, the newest whammy bammy style, basically. And in order to match port them, you got to put the dicum on it. And then you can see I've already done that. I use uh, rocker studs because they taper and then it wedges and basically centers the gasket. Makes it nice and smooth. Basically, here, let me take this off. If I can. Child proof seal. There you go, and I've already scraped it. Now, the reason why I don't finish welding them all up is because I'm going to want to get in here now also. So it's just going to make it easier to match port and get porting from that direction. All right. Let's get her done. Okay, there you go. Ported, but not blended yet. So that's just with the porting bit. Ugh. So here, before, after. Now the big difference is on this also is this is the back side. So the port is actually just goes straight down. It's just a straight shot. Straight, 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 all the way around, straight, straight. Here it's a little bit of a funnel way down in here you see it. It's just because that's where it actually rolls inward. But then this part actually goes and then it rolls out. So it rolls. That's the short side. So that's leading into the port. So there you go. And then also, because of that, I was able to get inside, do some boarding in there. Sorry, I didn't blow it out or clean them out or nothing yet. And I'm not finished. I still got some boarding to do and then some blending to do. Nick. So I just put this bit in. I had a longer bit in there before. Sometimes when you put them in, they're not straight. I'll see on these overseas die grinders. Trying to be political. It doesn't hold the bit correctly. I'll do this last. This is the lead in, it's the curved part. I hope you can see that, that leads into it. Because this port is pretty big and then the lead in is really all I'm doing, just breaking the edge here, rolling it back to round port. It doesn't need a lot of porting right here. It's mostly in the back. As you can see, I still got to hit this corner. But in the back, I straighten that out. The sides need to be straightened out. The front is already straight and then just rolls into the port.
Once I get the little lead in, now there's a sharp edge here, I'll just take it and roll it. I don't try to do it perfect with this, I'll come back to the cartridge roll and do it. I'm not even going to touch this right here, as you can see the port actually goes beyond that. It's right on the right of the edge, I can still see the line, but it's perfectly flat right there. This one needs a little bit of work. I need to hit this corner, hit this right here. Uh, I think this one just a little bit. This one's nice. i hit the back a little bit. Sorry, you can't see this. Okay, so next is going to be the top side. Now there's an actual lip here where this port is smaller than the actual top of the manifold that it was welded to. So I'm going to blend this out, funnel it, basically, maybe you can see this one here, that funneled out. Kind of do the same thing with this guy, funnel it out, and then blend the center, I know you can't see it, but believe me it's there. Blend the center across. And then I'm going to reach through with a long bit, come from this way on this center, and blend it across so they kind of meet in the middle, and blend the other side of the other hole across also. Uh, this is probably the most difficult because you got to reach in and it's kind of hard and you're being very kind of, uh, you can't lay into it. So, so I'm going to start off with uh, the regular one here, the hog. It's got some marks on it now, some battle wounds. I was just going to get the big stuff out of the way, reach in when I can, then I'll come back with the longer one. See that? That's basically what I just now did. Uh, I don't think I can get in here, but this guy, I'll get this guy right here, just lay it back a little bit with this one, and then I, from there on, I'm going to use the longer bit. Okay, so I've switched over. Now I can reach through here, and I'll actually get to the other side there. I'll also come in from underneath to get up top in the center, on both sides of the center, this way. Uh, that'll help me, and then I'll reach in from the other side here, basically. So exciting. Yada, yada, yada. Reminded me of when the bit is loose. Nope. I think it's just these cheap ones. This is not a genuine one. They are flimsy up top. Reminds me of when the bit's coming out. Yes. I don't know if you can see that. So you can see that I just basically broke that edge. Now I can reach up through this way and break this edge and roll it into that. Uh, I'm going to come back and hit this side now, the opposite side over here. I'll be able to break that ledge. Flip it around now and just go ahead and do that. All right, so I just got done using this guy here, coming in from the bottom. A little bit of every direction you can think of. There you go. Hopefully you can see that. So that's port matched. Now I'm going to go in with the uh, cartridge roll, which is 
this guy here and blend this all and make it all baby butt smooth. Unfortunately, it's so dirty, so it doesn't look pretty. I can try. I need to wash them. It's going to show it to you. But oh well. Right, so these guys are done. After this, I'll clean it, and then uh, I can start putting the caps on. And you notice it's a little like 45 inch straight, and 45 inch straight. And the idea there is that when it comes in, it hits this wall. Which basically takes it back this way, and then this one helps with the back ports. So.